Hey guys, how are you? Today I just want to talk to you about the palm keys. I know these little guys can be a little bit confusing and the positions can be a little bit all over the place. So I just want to clarify what the palm keys are for you, okay? So, you ready? Let's do it. So, palm keys are these ones here. One, two, and three, okay? So, we start with the one that is closer to you. The one that's closer to you is this one here, okay? So if you look at, at from the saxophone player perspective, will be this one here, okay? The one that you play with this part of your hand, okay? And that's a D, okay? Now, if you add one more key, if you add the second one over here, okay? you get a D sharp, okay? D sharp or E flat, same thing, okay? From the saxophone player perspective would be one and two, would be these two, okay? Now, that's D sharp, okay? Now, to get an E, okay, you would keep these two pressed and then you would add the top key out of the tree over here, that one there, okay? That's an E, like that, okay? Then, if you keep your E down like this, don't move anything here, you just want to add the last palm key here, and you get an F, okay? Am I going too fast here? Okay, let's recap. So, first one, let me play it. First one, the one closer to you, it's D. Add one more, and you get a D sharp E flat. Now, Keep this in place, okay? Keep these two in place and add the top key out of the trio here to get an E. Okay? Now, keep the E in place, okay? You don't move anything and the only thing you want to do is you want to press the last palm key left, okay? Which is this one here, okay? That's top F, okay? Now, all modern saxophones should have an F sharp, a top F sharp. So, from here, which is your top F, okay, everything down, you want to add one more key, which is the long looking key, which is an F sharp. Don't get confused with the other F sharp, which is the fork F sharp, okay? This one here is only for top F sharp, okay? So, F down and add the fork, uh, sorry, and add the, um, the top F sharp. Okay, and those are the positions. I know the hand positions can be a little bit weird and, and uncomfortable. You want to remember something. You want to keep your hand in place, okay? You don't want to be switching and moving your hand and your wrist up and down, okay? If you're playing your normal keys over here, okay, you want to be comfortable enough to go back and forth between the palm keys and here. All right, I'm just doing the minimal amount of movement that's required to go from here to here. That's it. Don't go like that. <laughs> okay? That's the quick tip that I wanted to give you guys today. Subscribe to the channel if you want to and uh, we'll be here with more tips uh, actually show me comments here below in the in the comments uh, to let me know what you would like me to cover okay so what well, is a truck passing by <laughs> take care guys see you soon bye